The division system in Call of Duty World War II is definitely something that we didn't anticipate when it came time to play the beta. Now it's not a terrible aspect to the game, but it's also not the best and hasn't been the best class setup that we have seen. Today I want to share with you my thoughts on how it could have been improved and really how it should be. So today, let's go ahead and talk about how the division system should be in Call of Duty World War II. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that big red subscribe button and turn on post notifications by hitting that bell icon in the bottom right. What in the world is up YouTube? My name is Mac Freezy. Welcome back to the channel for another video. And today I wanted to talk about how the division system could be a lot better and really why it isn't necessarily the best class setup that we have gotten in Call of Duty games. So in the original Call of Duties as well as the Modern Warfare series and even the original Black Ops, we saw a pretty classic class setup system where everything was kind of limited. You got your choice of a primary weapon, a secondary weapon, a lethal, and a tactical grenade, as well as three perks. And then Black Ops 2 came around and we saw the addition of units being used in the class setup. So basically, if you guys haven't played a game that has that, what it is is that you get a certain number of credits for your class, so it's either 10, 12, whatever it is, and you can basically make and customize your class as best as possible. And that has kind of been the mainstay and the standard for Call of Duty here in recent years until World War II. So World War II obviously has the division system, and to be honest, I don't really mind it, but at the same time, I think it could be a lot better. So here we go, let's talk about the ways that it could be improved. So first off, the biggest thing that it could have been improved is that they could have just modeled it after Infinite Warfare's system. So Infinite Warfare had specialist abilities as well as a kind of trait that you got. So for instance, if you played as the Synaptic character, you could use Rewind and Propulsion. So you got two things that you could use. Personally, I think that this is the way that the, that the division system should have been created. So you could have had infantry, airborne, all, all four of them, but instead of ranking up to have your four different perks that you get, you still rank up and you rank them up individually, but now you only get the choice of two of them at most. So really, that makes you kind of have to pick and choose which ones you want. I know that there's a lot of people who really could care less about the fact that there's a bayonet on their gun, or maybe there's people who don't want to run a suppressor, but it's just kind of there because that's the division that they're running. Nonetheless, it really would make some make players have to make some tough decisions, whether they want more ammo or they want the ability to have the stalker perk or whatever it is. The next thing that I think could have really improved the division system going along with my last point is all of the perks being available for every single gun in the game. And this just stems from the fact that, you know, you can't use a suppressor on an assault rifle or an LMG or even a sniper rifle, for example. They're only available to submachine guns. And this was really a frustrating thing in the beta because a lot of people like suppressors and running suppressors. I do as well, and I've kind of migrated from it in a lot of the later Call of Duties, but here we are in World War II, and I feel like it's an absolute necessity to have a suppressor. I get way better gameplays when I'm playing in the airborne division with the suppressor on because people just can't see you shooting and they don't run to a red dot. I think it was also necessary to just keep the units system and let players freely choose whether or not they wanted a certain amount of perks or attachments on their gun and didn't have to rely on one single basic training. I like the fact that they called it basic training because it does kind of go with the game, but at the same time you're really limited to one and that can be really frustrating and oftentimes you find yourself having to play a division that you're not comfortable playing with just so that way you can have certain perks. So maybe for instance you want to be stealthy so you have to play with the recon class but 
then you don't get a suppressor and so it's kind of pointless to use an SMG because you're not as fast either so it all just kind of adds up I definitely think it would have been a lot better if the game had followed Infinite Warfare's class system because then we wouldn't have had crutch perks like Primed already seeing that they need to be used and if you don't use it then you don't get other things like you can't have hustle where you reload faster and some guns really do need that nonetheless I think that this would have been a perfect way to go about making the division system and quite frankly I am kind of irritated that Sledgehammer didn't even think about it nor listen to the community when we really didn't like the division system I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Be sure to drop a like if you do agree with any of my statements, and I'll see you guys in the next one.